There's no talking points, there's no talking heads, there's no smoking guns, it is just the raw numbers. And in the first number for you today, in the story of for you today, 1.7 million. Yes, America, I have a smile on my face because it is indeed true. The, under the Affordable Care Act, we have enrolled 1.7 million Americans in healthcare, gotten them healthcare insurance through the exchange. Not to mention the 3 million young people that are already benefiting from the health care law because they're back on their parents' health care insurance. Meaning, just with those two totals, we have allowed for over, say it with me y'all and say it proud, 10 million Americans to finally get a chance to get access to health care. Now, there's a lot of folks out there who want to defeat the health care law. There's a lot of folks out there, a lot of Republican governors who and Republican members of the United States Congress that would do anything. The grand old party with no new ideals but repeal. Have not, they, have, can't, they can't say anything about the Affordable Care Act right now, America. They can say nothing about the Affordable Care Act because the Affordable Care Act is not the best law. It's not the most perfect law. If well, something could be more most perfect. Right? It's, it's not any of those things, but America, the truth of the matter is, the law is working. And it's working to the benefit of millions and millions and millions of Americans. Even though people stood in the way of the law, even though Republican governors decided not to implement the exchange, people have enrolled and they've gotten the health care they desperately need. Now this is the first step, and let me be very clear about this, the first step in a long number of steps to making sure we fix our health care system. The second thing that has to happen is Republican governors and Republican state legislatures have to expand Medicaid. There is a, a good chunk of Americans that live in the coverage gap, this gray area between not making too little to qualify for a subsidy and making too much and, and being able to qualify for Medicaid. And those individuals are the ones suffering right now. What is happening here, America, is that politicians, shame on these politicians, are playing politics with people's health and people's ability to go to the doctor. It's a crying shame, America, and it should cause pause in all Americans' minds and all Americans' daily lives. The fact that you cannot go see a doctor. And this is here lies the other problem with this whole thing, because government, we like to, the, the Republicans like to make this argument about government spending. Now let me address this. When you don't expand Medicaid, right? Stay with me and I'll bless you, right? And you allow those individuals who can, they can't get insurance, they can't go see a doctor, they're forced to go to the emergency room. When they're forced to go to the emergency room, they're going to pay a thousand times more than they would have paid if they went to their doctor. Now, if they can't afford their emergency room bill, guess what? Guess what, America? The taxpayer covers that bill, or everybody else who also goes to the hospital covers that bill. All of our prices go up. So, raising Medicaid while in the Republicans' mind is saving our country money and stop is not adding to the deficit. The fact these individuals now have to go to the emergency room for health care services means that all Americans are suffering. Walking contradiction. Just pointing that out. <laughs>